Hey guys, so we are here. I'm sorry that I did not have one a daily on Christmas. I am alive. It it was a very incredibly fun Christmas. Uh, and I enjoyed every minute of it. And so I took the time to really just enjoy every minute of it. Uh, it started off a little hazy. I got uh, uh, I had a stomach ache and diarrhea to start, but definitely picked up it was amazing. Didn't get a whole lot, but we had a lot of fun hanging out, watched Apis for family, good food for dinner, uh, ahi and uh, quesadillas. This one is Frat Prince. Uh, got to play video games downstairs, something I haven't done for a while because I thought my mom hated the sound of video games uh, and it turns out she doesn't mind it at all it's fun for her um, <clears throat> so that's really cool was playing Cold War that's a lot of fun I really enjoy being able to do uh, team deathmatch again that's one of my favorites it's simple and like doesn't really require skill but it's my favorite I'm really glad uh, for it thankfully time doesn't start until you start moving which is really nice Summons Key Potion Got ourselves a broken sword, lucky charm. Yeah. Status bar. I don't think we need skill status. Alright, perfect. We're gonna go the long way around. Um, got, uh, Cards Against Family, which is like the family version of Cards Against Humanity. I already own Cards Against Humanity, so it really felt like a present my brother got for me for him to play. So I just traded him his Dragonwood game, which is like, uh, randomized adventure with dice. And it's randomized because you have to remove cards every gameplay. You don't get all the cards even with all the players. And so I really like that. It adds a bit of randomness. I love. I I hate these games these kids have today, like the the pop the pig and because uh, the, there's nothing the. You doing nothing. Uh and like Hot Wheels tracks I never understood because again it was absolutely nothing. Where's my gold? How much gold do I have? I have forty gold. Damage two two required level five really for a two two weapon. That means fuck all to me. Should have attacked me. Nothing. Ooh, what do you have for travel boots? Two travel distance. Um, got some D and D figures for my uh, fi uh, uh, my Tolkien Christmas, very Tolkien Christmas village. Um, I got beholders, dragonborn cleric. 
at Walmart sets. They're really cool, and I didn't know they were made out of metal. And they were pre-painted, but I'm I'm gonna add some some Dylan touches, uh, make them nice and unique. I don't really know what the hell's going on with this guy. He's just kind of is. Aren't we all, you know? Uh, so got Dragonwood, traded it for the the game I think my little brother got for himself, subconsciously. Uh, and it looks really cool. Um, got this nice, awesome kitty blanket that's super soft and fluffy. Also got uh, another wander approach. Injured ass for help. Here, take one of my potions. Talk. One tr great treasure. Haha! -ha. Free treasure! Um. Fuck you. Um. Now. Choose a new skill. Nothing is found. Astral Flare, inflict 4 damage to all enemies after a short time, stuns enemies. Magic Magic Point every time you attack an enemy. Increase magic power by 20%, decrease defense by 15. Ooh, no, cray. Does one of three things. Heal, give enemy a random negative status effect, give you a random positive status effect. One magic cost. Critical focus, chance to critical hit plus 4. The start of battle, uh... Let's learn Prey, I think. We'll be good right now. Uh, those mouth farts. Uh, I hope you can't hear the real farts. That would suck balls. Be so embarrassing. Ah, uh, the this is a mage user, it seems. So we'll do two, two, one. Yeah, that seems about right. Treasure approach unlock open full battalion way crystal corrupt oak staff of bullshit. Yay! Um, I really like this game. It's a cool one, Kingsway. Uh, for roguelikes. Uh, what else did I get for Christmas? Cause you know, the world is all about those physical things to be happy. Or so they say, or what the fuck ever. I don't care. I had a whole bunch of fun being able to spend time with my mom so much this week. Uh, she had not COVID, but the sniffles, but they had to send her home in case of COVID and she's not allowed back until she doesn't have the sniffles anymore and she still has the sniffles and it's been a full week now that is it hasn't been solely me and my mom like I would like but it hasn't been bad like I really am loving it I'm just hoping now for lottery win so mom doesn't have to work anymore and we can go and explore and all that good stuff. Talk. A serious item for 13 gold. I'll buy it. Full spear of agility. Thanks. Talk rumors. Themselves with curfuses. Um. I also got a panda jar with uh, puddings. Uh, not puddings, jellos. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, it's down the Asian imports aisle at Fred Myers was where I got the panda. So. Now I get that. Aha, level up. Fuck you. Ow. Um,
Bag set. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, take one of those. Do I have enough now? I do have enough now. Um, yay, something's in the storage. I don't want to fuck with that yet. I'm nowhere near leveled enough for that. I don't have armor, nothing. Fluffy blanket with cats on it that are Christmas themed. Uh, fuck off. I thought Astral Flare did damage, or am I mistaken? Yay, four seeds! I think they want seeds. yet uh, Call of Duty Black Ops we'll be seeing some of that at some point um, little one hitter uh, metal joint cigarette for my dad that's really fucking cool in this awesome fancy case. Agility 14 crit, 1 agility, 2 move speed, 2 intellect, 15 magic item bind. Selling you. Leave, go to the bandit camp. Um. Shit balls. Uh. Remembering to pick up the games on the, uh. Free Epic Games, 15 days. Boom, 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 okay. Fuck, that one's so early on in the level. Beast Eye. Party Slippers of Fury. Uh, 
anyway, it was a really fun time. I really enjoyed Christmas. We made homemade almond bar. Plenty of things. Loved it. It's great. Best one I've had in a very, 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 very long time. Move all magic properties from an item. Create a random potion. All skills cost one last magic point to use. Yes. Because now that's free. Magic shield. Decrease damage taken by three for a short time. Oh, after a short time. Gotcha. Anyway. One, two, one. Loot. Nothing. Leave and continue. Hit you with my fucking nail club. Um. And I realized that, uh. You know, if I want to be a consultant, if I want to sell my good ideas, and not even really sell, just, you know, be able to eat food. Um. For my ideas, I kind of need to start saying them here on my channel, you know? I, I have poor man's copyright because of the date at which I record them and upload them. Uh, because now it's no longer recognized if you mail yourself shit. Venom 1 plus 1. Acquired level 5. Okay. My next level I can get plus 1 damage, plus 2 poison tag, and plus 7 mana magic regenerates. We're going to want those. Band and hobble. So one of my ideas is for a video game called Re-Emu Start. Very specifically, Emu is capitalized, fully capitalized, everything else is lowercase letters. And it's a roguelike game like this, but every time you go to like one of the little locations, it ups the percentage that the big boss, the emu boss, comes out of nowhere to fight you. And you can win, but it's incredibly fucking difficult. It's the final boss, real final boss, because there's a story final boss, but it really does, it's not as hard as the emu, uh... And, uh, oh, it's a scroll of, not tomb of, tome of. Put stones and full blocks. Oh, scrolls. And maybe books. I don't know what that last one is. Um, and like the big spoof is that you're you start out at the end of your journey. You're a very retired hero. Um, quite powerful, got the best gear, and so when the tutorial facing of the emu comes in and steals your shit, it'll be like losing the best gear in the game. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun.
another one is for a movie where um I'm I'm a spiritualist. We've gone over that in a part or two. Um so I believe in the the mumbo jumbo crazy bullshit quite fervently in fact. Um love it. I I agree with all gods in some form of existence because it causes behavioral change in humans. So therefore, your god must exist. And I say humans because I don't know if god affects dogs and cats. But it could, you know? I have another bag, but and I realized another thing that I prefer these two thingies here. Um, so I have a movie idea about a mom, um, who is having dreams of what it'll be like to spend time with her child. She's getting like, we'll say visions, uh, of her and her child. And it, uh, she ends up having a miscarriage. I hate saying it because I'm not meaning it in a bad thing. And she's she's a pregnant mom. Um, and it what it is is it allows she she stumbles upon the child that she's having a vision of at an orphanage like outside the orphanage that she sees the child at play uh and realizes that like she's there to adopt the kid uh, and that sometimes those those accidents with births are because uh, a child is hoping so hard for a family that it it creates a connection for that call to help. Um, and then I have another one also because I'm interested in uh, uh, sci-fi and shit. I have a time travel movie idea where uh it's like a party movie like a straight up american pie raunchy comedy movie and it's called space soup and it's these college kids build the first time machine uh to have the most wicked futuristic party of all time um, and then one, the person who built the time machine, the their main cause is to see how the universe starts. And ends up being that, like, they create barges at the start of the universe, which is just this straight, like, ocean of all of the chemical soup. And it's the time machines blasting away that starts the Big Bang. Uh, but it's just, it's a college party movie. I think that one would intergalactic space soup would be an excellent movie. Uh, plus, 
hymns. I also have a um, couple ideas for comic books that I think would be pretty cool to see created and out in the universe. Um, big nerd. Love me some comic books. Uh, but I've never really had a comic book shop in the area to buy and read comics. I could order some online. I know I could do that, but that seems so shitty. And then we finally moved to Washington and fucking quarantine hits before I can uh find a comic book shop to go to. But the comic books ideas are, for one, um, inspired by The Good Doctor, um, both the Korean drama and uh, the American drama. It would be cool to see an artistic superhero, possibly cause, caused by the Flash universe, um, the Flash TV universe, The I guess it's called the Arrowverse. Isn't it? Arrow was first. Um, that is uh, able to grow marijuana that gives people superpowers. And so, like, the initial character arc is the government is using real superheroes to try to shut down this drug dealer, and it's a kid who became a drug dealer because they couldn't become a doctor because of disability and so they bumped into a person who's like well this shit helps uh, my grandma with her glaucoma and I'm trying to grow this specific and he got into botany and growing specific strains for certain types of medical use and so the the power allows him to do stuff like that uh, and he has a friend who is like the bodyguard who is able to create uh, flame whips with his lighters, like the Bix and stuff. Because no stoner is without their lighter. Um... And then the other one is, um, in my philosophizing days, uh, I was curious about, because I'd, uh, just started working on my music production degree, uh, I was introduced to the term of slave machines, which is, like, one machine that does the, that mimics what the you're doing on another machine to play to different sounds uh, and so I noticed that humans really fucking just love slavery uh, and it makes me wonder if in the far future if slavery will crop up again and how might it crop up if it's not because we robots is like one a lot of people think about but what about clones of yourself I mean it's you All right, is that not still slavery bad slavery And so it's about a uh, bandit bounty hunter guy 
who uses revolvers in a very futuristic sci-fi world, Future Pangea. Uh, so it's the Wild West again, but futury. Um, and uh, he's got 33 marked under his eye, and he's the 33rd clone of the original person who owns the whatever that he works at, whatever good and service that needs to be mass produced by people. Uh, and he works for them and they like, they, they intentionally shut off the brain in the cloning process so that they're just working hunks of flesh suit uh, but for some reason this one did not and like maybe the whole thing never found out about is like one group of scientists was like let's let's trick these fucks Uh, and made one smart and put like a camera in its brain that recorded and uploaded it like as a video to see its eyes uh, in a lab somewhere. Maybe, I don't know. But, yeah, far future. Cloning yourself, is it a slave? Or no? I don't know. I think so. I think he's bad, okay? Mr. Mackey wouldn't have a, be having a fun time with y'all right now. Uh, but I think that would be an interesting comic. I don't know how to draw and stuff and would like some other people to help write so that it's not just my one angsty teen's perspective. And so that's why consulting sounds like a good thing I would be capable of doing. Giving a bunch of good ideas for things. And uh, hopefully being paid for them. You know, like you do. Fucker! Uh, oh, another a TV show idea that I have before I die for good, good uh, is called The Disorder Order and it's uh, magic users that have like one form of disability that kind of uniqueifies their approach to magic. So like my initial idea was a, like an evoker, like a person that chants who is dyslexic and so like they accidentally summon mummies that are cows. Fuck, I died. Um, but the most, the one that I would like to, to spearheart it is inspired by Toph and it would be a music um a girl from a music family, like magical musicians, um, who's deaf and uses <clears throat> vibrations to 
vibrations in the earth, her earth magic, to create like dubstep music. I'm curious about if I can choose that wand. Venom wand. That's cool. It might be level 5, but not bad. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will catch you all on tomorrow's. Wrong button. I hate go live. <laughs> Mistakes.